Hello, and welcome to Building Things with Brandon. I'm your host today, Brandon. Uh, I'm just going to go over um, this NFC hat by Waveshare. That's the PN532. Um, actually, we're going to try to get it um, connected and working with a Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, I've looked all over the internet. I've looked all over YouTube. I could not find any tutorials. And so as far as I'm aware, I'm the, only, I'm the first person uh, that has been able to get this to work. Um, I even reached out to Waveshare and asked them, you know, what codes, what do I need to do to get this hooked up to a Raspberry Pi Pico? And their response to me was they didn't know, they didn't have any documentation. They haven't set anything up to get this uh, to work with the Raspberry Pi Pico. So I'm going to show you how to do that because it took me a very long time. Uh, the first thing... Um, is what you'll want to do um, is go to this site here. Um, this is the Circuit Python. This is what you'll want to install on your Pico to get this to work. Uh, when you go to the site, you'll just click this download dot uf2 now. And when you're ready to install, what you do is you hold down the boot cell um, on your Pico when you um, plug it in and then on your finder uh, I'm using a Mac so you if you're using Windows I believe you just drag and drop this on top of the device that you see in your Explorer or finder window and that will install the circuit Python uh, software this is this is what will run the code that we're going to be using the second thing what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to github and you'll want to download this folder here. So all the contents of this uh, underscore PN532. This has all the modules we're going to be using. This will help us uh, um, connect to the PN532. Um, the other uh, code that we're going to be using is, um, and I'll throw mine in the description, link in the description to my uh, GitLab repo, but what I did use is I used their read write my fair code. I did have to make some adjustments to it. Uh, for so first of all, you do have to come in here and uh, comment, uncomment this part here because we're going to be using the UART function, um, and you want to comment so put a, a pound symbol in front of the IC2. And then uh, what we do is we'll have to define um, some uh, how it's going to be connecting to our pins uh, because using just the board TX um, isn't going to work for this UART connection. And this is what took me a very long time to try to figure out um, is the is how it's going to connect to the Raspberry Pi Pico. And I will show you how I have everything connected and how that works. Um, Anyway, once you've downloaded those, uh, what you'll do is you'll come here to uh, your Thony, and oh, let me plug mine in. My Pico, because I'm plugged in. Oop, let me stop that. And you'll want to come down here to the very bottom and you'll see you'll have some other interpreters and stuff what you have installed make sure that you have the circuit python uh, installed and then what you want to do is you'll want to put in that um, you'll want to copy over that adrafruit uh, pn532 folder i told you to download you'll put that on your device and then what you'll want to do is either you can copy uh, the code that I put out on the Git Hub repo that just has the exact code, or you can um, take the one from the examples folder that was on um, uh, the uh, website that I, I showed you. Um, you can in that examples folder you'll see this read write my fair. So the kind of changes that I did, you'll see right here. On the UART connection, you'll see a whole bunch of this other stuff coming out. That's how many tries uh, it took me to try to figure out what's how it's going to work. Um, but basically, the things that you'll want to 
make sure you have is this board.gp and that stand this GP is what the pins it's going to connect to the Raspberry Pi Pico so GP4 and GP5 uh, the baud rate I got that from their their site um, and then I commented out everything on the bottom because right now we're just going to try to we're not trying to authenticate and actually print to um, the card we're just trying to find it and this right here will print out the hex code if you look here when I did run it it found this key card here and I will show in the video um, when that's running because it does take a very long time uh, to get back this code because we're just running this off the, micro, the microcontroller so um, it does take a while to get this code back so it's not very practical but like I said, I didn't find any documentation of anyone else uh, setting this up or getting it to work. Um, when you do go to um, set it up on the Pico, I do recommend that you go to, pull it up here for you, you find a pin board, and this will show you uh, what you're going to be connecting to. And what we used was this right here. This is your power. This is your 5 volt. So we're going to have one lead here. Um, we're going to have one for ground. And then on the other side, I used the UART1 and the TX and RX, which would be GP4 and GP5. So if you go back to the code here on the phony. Right here, and you'll see GP4, GP5, and that coordinates to those pins that uh, that I was showing you. And I'll go through um, how I have everything connected, and then once you run the program, this is what your expected output will be. Um, and I'll show that also in the video. Um, hopefully, everything. Uh, works out for you. If you have any questions, feel free to um, post something in the comments. And then also, if you'd like me to make any more tutorials or, or videos on Raspberry Pi Pico or Raspberry Pi in general, um, I'd love to make more videos. Uh, please let me know in the comments. Board. So here's my board here. You'll see I have the, the jumpers on there for low, low. Um, Let's see, right there I've got the TX and RX on the UART turned on. I have my jumper there. That gray pin right there, I have that going to the ground. And that green one goes to the Pico board, which is ground. So that's the third one down. Um, then you've got power, which is that top right one there, that's 5 volt. That goes all the way to the V bus, which is 5 volt there. And then you have on the board here, it will actually say RX and TX, and I have both of the orange and the black one going to the uh, GP4 and 5 on the Pico board, which um, is RX and TX for UART. Okay, I just want to show you this bad boy in motion. 
So here's my Python code. I'm going to click start. It's going to say waiting to read card. And you'll see those dots until it put the card in front of it and then it stops. And then we wait a very long time. Uh, once it uh, has finished the program and wrote out the hex code, um, you'll see that it matches uh, the little video I had uh, recording my phone where it showed the hex, the serial uh, number at the top. You'll see that those numbers match, and that's because I read the card on my phone to show that I read it on the NFC hat, to, just to show you that it works. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos, uh, please let me know. I'd be happy to do some more Raspberry Pi projects. Uh, anyway, I hope you have a great and wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next